Mordecai of the Cross's videos and the fallen videos are brought to you by the Illuminati. Join the Illuminati now. Make the pack. Thin the herd. And now, a word from Mordecai the Cross. Greetings to the Fallen. I'm your president, Mordecai the Cross, and this is the first video in the series of the war on veganism. And this video is Cowspiracy Debunked. Because I'm pretty sure a few of you have heard about this cowspiracy documentary. I don't know if you can really call it a documentary, since documentaries have facts and factual information in it, and this cowspiracy doesn't have anything remotely close to that. So this is the first series of the videos of my war on veganism. I have other videos about where I debunk other things pertaining to veganism, but this is the first video. So, anyways, I'll leave links and shit in the crotch bar below, so check that shit out. Also, I'll leave a crotch bar uh, video link to, I mean, a link to a video in the crotch bar below, a new series that started that was created by Anthony Davis, or to be exact, Anthony Water Buffalo Davis, That'll be also in the crotch bar below. Check out the video. More content coming from him soon here on this channel. So let's go and get started without further ado. Here are six reasons you don't have to feel guilty about eating a burger. Number one, the water used by a cow helps to convert grass into food for people. Cattle graze on land that is too steep, hilly, or rocky for crop production. Cattle can utilize terrain that would simply have no productive use if we didn't graze cattle on it. Thus, we, they can convert forage growth on the untillable land into a top protein, and their grazing supports wildlife, aerates the sale, soil, and helps reduce wildfires. You know, wildfires, you know, those things that Smokey the Bear says, only we can prevent, help, only you can prevent wildfires. Well, cows help do that. So obviously only you and cows can prevent wildfires. It also keeps the dust bowl that was like in the 50s, I believe. I'll leave a uh, link to a thing talking about the Dust Bowl of how it almost destroyed America in the crotch bar below. All right, number two. Cattle don't just provide us with beef, but byproducts too. Consider the water usage needed to make synthetic replacements for all of the byproducts we get from beef. Insulin for diabetics, steric acid for use in our tires, crayons, deodorant, makeup, etc. To be able to replicate these items without beef byproducts would not only require a lot of water, but also fuel for manufacturing and transportation. But yeah, so basically it's actually environmentally friendly to use cattle for these products mentioned because if we didn't, well, it would actually be more of a stress on the environment than we already are. And if you want to talk about water waste, let's look at our own usage. Let's consider the water actually used by American citizens on a daily basis. In just the morning hours, the typical morning might look like this. Drink a glass of water, brush our teeth, take a nice hot shower, use water to make our coffee, wash our breakfast dishes, and perhaps start a load of laundry before we head to work. These would be considered essential uses of water in a first world country, but what about the non-essential use? Did Americans feel bad about participating in the Iceback Challenge as they poured water over their heads to raise money for a cause? So this is number four reason. How about watering the lawn to make sure it stays a beautiful shade of green laying part of the water run down to the street into the storm drain? If you like to golf, the course stays perfectly green, which also requires water. Are these effective uses of water? Does water help feed the world and offer important byproducts? Hardly. Water is essential to life. Number five. Something we are in dire need in many parts of this nation. Can California and parts of Texas continue to suffer from a drought, especially here in West Legion, Texas. So it's important to be conscious of our own water usage, but let's not throw the baby out with the bathwater. To blame water waste on a cow when we have a growing population demanding more and more water for our personal use is simply ridiculous. We must look internally in how we can reduce our water use. This means shorter showers, skipping the coffee, turning off the water when we brush our teeth, washing dishes by hand. Instead of using the dishwasher, and not so much watering our lawns, or just skip that completely. Skip dumping water on our heads. Just donate money to the fucking cause. Finally, the sixth reason is cow conspiracy is using the fear to create buzz and make money. Because today's consumers, three generations moved from the family farm. It's hard to understand where food comes from because most folks don't get to see it being raised outside their back door.
So when they don't get the facts from the appropriate sources that would actually know about this, like farmers and ranchers, they get they return to the internet and most likely turn to the entertainment industry. Turn to Hollywood for the answers. And Hollywood is not really well known for giving the correct answer or any kind of answer that's actually legit. Take reefer madness from the 40s and 50s where they lied to the entire population about marijuana or the sterilization program of the of the 50s and the 60s in california or even the eugenics program that was started it was in the 40s in the 50s in california until after world war ii when hitler himself was inspired by the eugenics program here in america the point being is cow's conspiracy has just been debunked Vegans don't know what the fuck they're talking about. It's just shit to make money. It has nothing to do with actual health. So stay tuned for more videos of this where I continue my war on veganism. Until next time, stay wicked.